Red Dead Redemption 2 is a game rated M by the ESRB. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to more Stephen Plays Red Dead Redemption 2. On the last episode, we had a little tip about uh, a guy who lost everything and the bank repossessed it and he had some mementos still left in the house he wanted to get a hold of. So guess what? That's where I came at the start of this episode. Guess where it is? Does this look familiar at all? It should. That's the barn that burned that we were inside. It's the same house. It's the same. Are you kidding me? Ugh. I'm not thrilled about this. Not at all, because we've already seen there was someone inside. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Man. This is a little weird to be back here. Can I just go in? Is there going to be anyone here now? Am I going to get in trouble for being here? This thing is condemned. Ledger, watch, pistol. All right, I'm just gonna take a look around. I don't think I'm gonna get into trouble for being here. I think I'm just, you know, just searching around. Hopefully, if I run into problems, I'm gonna be well, sad and upset. But hey, I told that guy to help him out. I'm, I'm trying to make this guy's day. Cool, a canned vegetable. Well, baked beans. There was another thing to examine. What was that? <laughs> it went away. Do my eagle sight here to see if, what I can see. Okay. So this is that guy. June 7th, 1855. Dear Sir, please accept this likeness of your family as a small token of appreciation for your assistance in the recovery of my property. Like your old pa, you're a cunning old dog and a credit to this community. <laughs> Yours, Colonel Joshua Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. Huh. Shame I can't take that. child's drawing. Thanks indeed for your talk to our Sunday school class. <laughs> Thought you might like this drawing young Josh did of you. He wants to grow up to be just like you. Sam. I wasn't really sure what to expect from this mission, and I think it's not like, oh, we have to watch out for the law or any. I think it's just sad. Kind of a sad reminder of, uh... You know, things like this that happen. Let's check this letter. April 2nd, 1870. Dear Mr. Compson, I'm afraid there's no more work for you down here at the plantation. I'm grateful for the help you've given us and the help your pappy and your pappy's pappy gave us before you. These are trying times for all of us. You are in our thoughts and prayers. Yours truly, Colonel J. Nixon. The Ascension Plantation. Hmm. There's a pocket watch here. That's your things. watch. Now the ledger and the pistol. I mean, I guess there's still a chance something could go awry here, but that's not really the impression I'm getting. Although this is really, I, I like these sorts of missions. Just getting a chance to look around. Premium cigarettes. Oh, snap. Where are my cigarettes? Does that count as a provision? Yeah, premium cigarettes. Uh, discard. Honestly, I could probably discard basically all of them. I really only want them for the cards in them. And I have the cards. Stars of the stage. What, what card did I get? Should work towards completing a set of this. You guys have actually told me I could just go buy premium cigarettes if I want to, like, complete the card sets. Kind of takes a little of the fun out of finding them. Maybe just a little bit. Let's see what this says. Dear Jeremiah, 
There ain't nothing here any value. I wouldn't give you a nickel for it. Come by for a sup of whiskey any time. Bill. Yes. I was sorry to hear of Betsy's passing. Things is easier up there for sure. Sounds like this guy had a lot of bad luck. I feel really bad for him. But it's interesting that this thing tells a complete story, you know, just searching his house. Nothing in there we can use, though. Okay. Where is all this old crap? Well, there's a door on the floor. Goes into a cellar. There's also more leathers. Let's see what this one says. Dear Mr. Thompson, after numerous complaints from customers and fellow employees alike, we must terminate your employment. There's just no place for a man like you at the Central Union Railroad Company. Huh. Numerous complaints from customers and employees alike. What did he do? This is peculiar, man. Very peculiar. All right, let's examine this photograph. Ah, uh, trap door, huh? <laughs> huh? What you doing here? We found this place first. Yeah. Easy. I'm just looking around for some things. Hmm. That old revolver yours? <laughs> Finders keepers. Ah! Son of a bitch! Oh, God damn it. damn it! Come on, Dan! Where are you going? Come on! It's ours! Oh, God. Deal with the squad. Why am I using a knife? Can't I just shoot this guy? Like... You want some of this? Where was that guy going? Well, that was a thing that happened. Honestly, I often forget that knives are a thing. I never use them. They don't have anything. Give me my hat. Let's see, where's that pistol? There we go. It's one of the things I'm looking for. Perfect. Well, that'll be the pistol. Uh, just the ledger now. Is there anything else of interest down here? Before I get in that trap door? It's probably where the ledger is, downstairs. It's getting dark. Paw, God damn it. Told you to stay away from the boy. He don't want this. Heck, none of us want nothing to do with you. Rance. Man, this is so sad. This is so sad. Anyway, this is where I need to be almost assuredly. God, I got that out on my own. Shit. Can barely see you anyway. So what's down here? Hopefully the ledger. Don't really see a whole lot of anything. Some chains. Hold on, there's a diary. Okay, open. Well, that's that. I was somewhere near Rhodes when they caught me. Till the day I die, I ain't gonna forget the sound of that dog barking in my heels. But I don't suppose that day gonna be far off yet. 
It was 50 lashings yesterday and 50 more to come. I don't think I can take any more. Man said he was doing his job. Funny kind of employment if you ask me, but I suppose you ain't. Lights fading, so that's it for now. I do hope I live to see the end of this war and justice win out. Ugh. June 64. There's no more... There's no more entries. God. Oh, there's Kentucky bourbon. <laughs> but what I was hoping... That's not the ledger. The ledger's over here. And I can examine it. This your ledger? A list of slaves? Uh. Rewards. January 15th, Betsy, $17. January 18th, Louise, $12. May 18th, Wilfred, $18. May 24th, Minnie and Child, $20. Well, if everything didn't click together uh, for you up until this point, I guess it just did. A reminder of the past. It's dated 1856. Huh. Take. I'm real curious how this conversation with Thompson's gonna go. The, uh... God, all of this stuff makes, you know, so much more sense now. This is a very creepy place to be in. All right, well, uh... No use sticking around, I suppose. And we can't get upstairs, so, uh... Can I go out the front door? I suppose not. All right, well, it's already dark. I got everything I needed and needed to know. Emoji, you around? Come here, girl. Let's get this stuff back to that guy. I think I'm uh, quite finished with this house. I'm proud about us. Just when they needed us, they threw us away like, like shit on their boot. I'm, times wasn't perfect. I ain't saying that. It's just... It's all, it's all going to hell. Oh man, oh man. <laughs> you sh show some respect. I was respected once. I had a profession. You asked me to get you something. There's no bringing back what I want. I want my job, my pride, the respect accorded to a gentleman. What about this old crap, huh? Things. Don't you understand? Those bastards, they changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Pissed on my legacy. Oh, man. Some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies? Oh, they are for oh, pissing What off. are you doing? That's, that's my history. <laughs> ah! God! Damn you! Damn you! I still exist! Oh. Man, it's so interesting, like, reading the, the letters and stuff before you have the full picture. I was like, man, I feel really sorry for this guy. He lost all, like, everything. <laughs> It's so sad. And then when you get the full picture, you're like, oh, oh, I, I no longer feel sorry for this man. That last line was good, though. I still exist. Like, this is a big turning point, you know, in, in history where people that were, uh, you know, alive that were responsible for some of these atrocities are still here. But he's nothing now. And the world is better for it. All right. 
With that in mind, let's ride. Back at camp, we're gonna go check up on uh, Lenny. He's got the story mission. Arthur! Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Ah, uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, have been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> We've had some good adventures with Lenny. I like Lenny a lot. I was hoping you'd be in. If it's how they told it, it's gonna be something all right. We'll see. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll head over to Shady Bear and see what it's about. <laughs> Again. Keep my eyes peeled for a horse. I can buy a horse. Or I could go and actively like try and find a horse. I'm not that interested in it. Cause I like emoji. Let's just say if if the opportunity arises, Come on. It's this way. I would me. find something better. Cha. That's all I'm saying. Hosea, good day to you. Come on, emoji. Get going. Just speed limit yeah. in the camp for some reason. Alright, let's do this. You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrified. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lemoyne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a... A glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west is out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right. Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge different. Well, I uh, guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. I'm sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold's still shiny. And their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Yeah, man. Let's get some golden guns. And possibly a golden gun. Somewhere James Bond is very... Moist. <laughs> Probably could have come over the better word than moist. Wet seemed too crude, so I went with moist. And now, now I regret it. James Bond is moist. I'll put that on my on my tombstone. Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons. We're gonna want to strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. 
I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? See that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. You don't see anybody out here, Lenny. I mean, I trust you, but... Not a whole lot of activity. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. The building looks familiar. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Gia! Watch out! Easy now. What is happening? Oh, there we go. So an old church found it interesting. Not sure why. Okay. <laughs> hey, you see something? Why are you stopping? Sorry, I pulled out my journal, so I figured I'd just look at it. Feel like a fool. Slave catcher. Oh, here's the beginning of that. Stumbled into this old drunk on the streets of Rhodes. Don't know quite uh, why he made an impression. World is full of self-pitying drunks. Hope to grow into one myself. It's something about this fellow Jeremiah Compson. Blamed everyone else for his plight. Lost his career in his home. So that was the beginning of that. <laughs> Albert Mason seemed obsessed by getting eaten by alligators. Again, he managed to survive. That emerald was about as real hey, as a zebra and worth a whole lot less. I'll need you there. Well, yeah, fifty dollars, I guess, wasn't a ton. Weird English guy gave me a pretty decent emerald as payment for my troubles. Maybe it wasn't so bad after all. Well, it didn't work out. After hunting a zebra that was a donkey and a tiger that was a cougar and another lion that was just a dog, or I think that's right. I think I've lost track of the whole thing and an assistant that's a real woman and a him a strange English maniac in a dress pretending to be all that he isn't. Remind yourself never to go on the stage. All his animals were as fake as the rest of his act until I was to find and retrieve a real lion. But no, it was a real lion. <laughs> All right, I think I did it. My the man Francis Sinclair wants me to find some odd rock carvings and send him details. Not sure why. Probably won't bother. Say something if you're gonna stop, okay? Sorry, Lenny. I just I got carried away. All right, that's where I was. Boom! I caught up on the journal in the middle of an episode. I apologize to everybody. Follow Lenny. I'm Hear with that? you. Someone's on the track. It says follow Lenny, but Lenny's not moving, so. Look there, a wagon. Let's right. see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Easy, whoa. Those crates in the back, they look like explosives to you? Could be. Worth a follow, at least. All right, we'll just keep our distance. I'm gonna study this squirrel. Hold on, Lenny. I learned about squirrels. So, oh God! Sorry, I forgot I was trying to. I think I see something. Into the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Keeping my hey. distance. Big plantation house. <laughs> Must be shady bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. <laughs> Okay, then. Come on. We can get a view on them from that wall up there. Make sure you bring the sharpshooter. I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. What guns do I have with me? A rifle and a... <sighs> Hold on a sec. Part of me wants the bow, because God knows a bow is great. But uh, I was actually thinking of... Um, of switching over to the uh, pump-action shotgun. If something goes terribly awry, and God knows it could, uh, at least I'll be prepared. Use your weapon scope to investigate Shady Bell. Have you seen anything? Yes. Yes. There you are, all right. 
And they're armed. Almost a militia. They got men covering the house. Got a Gatling gun up there, too. Well, they got that house locked down real tight. I know dynamite crates when I see them. We got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, and then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for performance. You gonna make a call? I don't know about sending Lenny, man. I feel bad. I wouldn't want him to get killed. So? We're gonna hit him head on. You save your play acting for Jose and the girls. <laughs> Fine by me. Soon as you shoot, I'll go. Are we biting off more than we can chew? There's a lot of guys here, man. Waiting on you. Let's do it. You all being right. Careful, Lenny. You're gonna be in my shot. There we go. Got a lot of dead eye. One by one, baby, one by one. Get off my friend. Well, that worked. Hold on. Switch over to pistols. Into cover. Woo! Oh my god, Lenny. Lenny, do you think maybe we overdid it, Lenny? There's a lot of these guys. Jesus, maybe I should have brought the other gun. Well, we're in the thick of it now. I get that guy? I think I got that guy. Hey, Lenny, how's it going? Pleasure running into you here. Woo! Blood spurts! Yeah! Oh, no, he ain't. Not if he gets shot in the face. All right, back to uh, back to pistols. All right, being careful, ish. God, this is not a good. Okay, I attempted cover. I'd prefer if you were dead. We're looking pretty good here now. That might be it. Quick! Any men in the area would have heard that. They might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. Oh my god. There might be guns in these Some these poor guys are standing a little too close to that dynamite. But that's really their fault. I mean, let's be honest. Uh, this stuff's too old to bother with. They have nice stuff on them, though. Jesus, they are worth, uh... They're worth looting when you get a chance. You got anything? Not yet. Looking for stuff. This one looks good. Search it. There's food here. <laughs> when you said they might be back soon, how soon are you thinking? Like... 
I think we should search the crates, Arthur. I mean, you got hands too. In here? Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. We're just gonna take let's this. Go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Oh, this is yeah. not gonna go smooth. Oh my god. Yep. Oh my god, no, 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 no. We don't wanna tip it out here. Don't spare the nag. Come on! Come on. G up. Fall in. Well, I don't see him, so maybe we're good. Let's see how fast they run. Hey, Rise, coming our way. Okay, keep a cool head. What's a black feller doing coming out of Shady Bell? In one of our wagons. We was uh, doing some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of folk we deal with. Our business was conducted to the satisfaction of all parties. Until now, that is. Nope. No. Something don't feel right about this. I like shooting him in the face. Are you alive? That's a shame. Hold on, don't go nowhere. I think it's time to go. What do you think, Lenny? I'm looking, all right? I can't see anyone chasing us. Might be a good opportunity to just I do some... Wait, was that what I wanted? Chewing tobacco? Fully restores dead eye and... Okay, yeah, that was fine. Crowd of the woods, then, so to speak. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately. And I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragging. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like him, you know? Well, so do I. I guess my better judgment. Just... You worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackwater. But... No, but nothing. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts, we know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Yeah. That's really sweet. Like Arthur Arthur looks up to like Dutch and Hosea. But then there's also a lot of the other gang members that look up to Arthur. You know, it's a kind of like a father figure. Um even John, you know, who uh, is obviously at least a little bit younger than Arthur. And hey, John, the camp's in these trees up here. John Let's finds himself in, in trouble all the time, and it seems like uh, Arthur's coming to his aid. Arthur's a good guy. I mean, like, he is a criminal. He'll, he'll kill you and steal all your money. But he's a good guy. And that mission went pretty well, all things, uh, all things considered. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. Okay, but what I get? What gun is that? Bold action rifle. Now available to modify in shops. Fantastic. So, what do you think of this place? Better than your little hermit camp, right? Oh, it's wonderful, Arthur. Thank you for asking. All right, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm not sure what there is uh, left to do. That is not what I want. I want the map. I think, goodness gracious, is du is it is it is it Dutch time? I think next episode might be Dutch time. I also briefly saw um, an Albert Mason 
mission at one point. So uh, he shows up apparently briefly. Next episode, though, I'd be surprised if we don't get around to doing uh, Dutch's mission. He's been there for a bit. We've been putting that off a little bit, doing some other things. But next episode, we'll get around to it. Thanks for watching. See you next time for more Stephen Plays. Red Dead Redemption 2.